Hello everyone, myself Dr. Usha Amalyar and I am a pathologist in a Parul Institute of Medical Science and Research. Today I am going to explain the procedure, phlebotomy procedures, which is used to withdraw the blood from the vein. Uh, basically in phlebotomy material which required for the procedure, here you can see first of all the tourniquet which used for the ligation uh, above the sides and uh, here you can see uh, alcohol swab in which 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol is used and it is used basically for sterilize the area and here the vacuity. Uh, basically we have to follow the order for collection of the blood. First we have to collect the blood in a blue uh, bulb which is also known as a citrate bulb and uh, it is used for the test PTAPDT test. Then second we have to collect the blood in a red color bulb. It is also known as a, pl a plain bulb and it is used for biochemi uh, biochemistry test and serological test. Third the purple bulb. It is also known as a EDTA bulb and it is used for the all hematological test. And the last the gray color bulb and it is used for the blood sugar estimation. Now let's see the uh, needle and syringe uh, basically in our laboratory we use 2 5 and 10 ml of syringe and 24 gauge needle here you can see the number of the uh, gauge 24 number uh, gauge needle and here the microphone uh, now let's see the procedure first of all confirm the name of the patient in which we have to do this procedure then wear the gloves and now prepare the syringe and needle. Then ask the patient to sit on the collection chair. After this Examine the anticubital fossa to see the suitable way. Most common site for venue puncture is cephalic vein. If it is not visible or difficult to trace, then you can also collect the blood from the wrist, ankle and hand veins. Then select the vein for puncture. Now apply the tourniquet 2 to 3 inches above the puncture site. Now, clean the venipuncture site with 70% alcohol swab central to peripheral area. Allow the area to dry and instruct the patient to cleanse his fist. Now, enter the needle appropriately at 30 to 45 degree angle to the arm with bevel of needle upward. Insert the needle smoothly and fairly fast to minimize discomfort to the patient. Then, pull back pistol of the syringe with slow and even tension as blood flows in the syringe. Do not pull pistol quickly to avoid hemolysis or collapsing of the vein. Then release tourniquet after collection of the blood. After this, ask the patient to relax his fist. Then ask the patient to rela release his fist. Place the clean sterile cotton ball over the punctured side and apply pressure over the side. Then deliver 
blood from syringe to vacuum cleaner then label the sample appropriately then dispose the syringe and needle in an appropriate way here you can see needle cutter in which we cut the needle then we discard the syringe in a container that's all about the procedure the phlebotomy procedures thank you